So before we begin, I just want to quickly show you guys the colors I have picked up right here. If you want, you can use a similar palette by taking a screenshot or what you can do, you can pick up your own colors. Basically what you want to have, you want to have a combination of cool tone colors and warm tone colors. So both for highlights and shadows, specifically shadows, it doesn't really matter when it comes to highlight because usually color is really, really light. But when it comes to shadows, you want to have a combination of cool tone colors and warm tone colors and for both of the highlights and shadows you want to move from red to orange and that's how I pick up my color so the good rule of thumb would be to pick up one really desaturated cool tone kind of shadow and two warm tone kind of shadows and another shadow which is cool tone and the color for the blush depends totally on you you can use any kind of blush i actually picked up this orangish kind of color even if you have one cool tone shadow one warm tone shadow and one highlight color and one blush color you're good to go so to start off with i drew this circle i'm choosing this color and i'm just going to fill the circle in with this color so if i was painting skin i would take this color as my base color so basically this is if you're painting skin if you're painting a portrait pick up your base color so i picked up the second color to be my base color so i'm just going to fill this in and come back so here i am going to be adding each and every color in the similar order they are i have placed them in so you don't have to worry about it being perfect or not right now you just have to worry about the placement of it so that's what i'm doing i'm just placing all these colors just really randomly but in the order i have placed them in the palette for the palette so as you guys can see we have our base color we have our highlight and then right after our base color we have this warm shadow and right after our warm shadow we have this cool tone shadow and then again we kind of wrap it up or kind of sandwich the cool tone shadow with really dark warm tone shadow and then we leave some space for the reflected light it's really important to kind of show the reflected light on the face or the portrait when you're painting it because it actually adds this really three-dimensional kind of thing to the whole drawing and i also added cast shadow using a black color on a different layer now here i picked up smudge brush now you want to make sure you're picking up smudge brush because there's a huge difference between smudge brush and colorless brush and if you don't know what it is watch my video i've like created in-depth tutorial kind of thing on the difference between the brows but here you want to pick up smudge brush make sure the opacity is really really low now in the first go you want to blend it really lightly as i'm doing here so the key when you are blending colors for skin is to make sure you're not blending everything out because you want to kind of maintain a good balance between harsh and soft shadows it cannot be completely soft and it cannot be completely harsh this is the rule you want to keep in your head whenever you're painting skin so i also blended the cast shadow as well and yeah because everything was looking so blended out the second step is to actually put some color back in so i started with a blush color because i didn't actually add blush initially and that's what you want to do you want to add it later on you can add it earlier also it depends it totally depends on you but i kind of like to add it later on the similar thing i'm doing with the highlight as well adding more of it and not blending it out at all and picking up a even lighter color of the highlight color that i have in the palette and adding this little dot which i kind of wanted to be harsh and that's the reason why i'm not blending it out that's the same thing i do when i'm actually painting a portrait now i am going to pick up a lavender or purple kind of color and kind of add it at the right hand side um, of the circle and I'm adding it over the darker shades of the skin now this is to kind of represent reflected light so if you have if you have placed your portrait in an environment pick up a color from the environment and add it onto the skin here I just assumed the purple color to be the environment color but it totally depends on the atmosphere or the environment around your portrait painting so the face is actually going to reflect some light back with the same color so i hope that is making sense but yeah that's how you actually shade skin or that's how you actually blend skin colors it's really easy 
and I do have tutorials on skin shading like where I have actually shaded a face so I will link all those down below but I have changed my process a little bit so I might update my tutorials as well really soon but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you did give this video a big thumbs up do check out my description box below I will be linking all the relevant videos or the videos I think you should be watching down the description other than that I will see you guys in my next video